Now that we know how to express the concentrations of solutions, then we proceed into preparing solutions through dilution. All right, so when you say dilution, it's the process of adding uh, more of the solvent, for as for this case, more water, so as to make a uh, workable amount or workable concentration. Now take note that solutions that are routinely uh, present in the lab are purchased in a concentrated form, right? So for example, 18 molars of sulfuric acid that is very concentrated and it's not advisable for, for us to let students use it at that concentration. So what we, what we can do is that uh, we have to dilute that stock solution. Okay, so the original solution is called a stock solution or our mother solution, and we need to dilute it into a working concentration. So for example, we want a lesser concentration, uh, 0 0.10 molars of sulfuric acid will do, will do in this experiment or will give us the desired effect already. Right? So to determine how to dilute the stock solution, we can use the formula C1V1 is equal to C2V2. And why is this possible? Okay? So we ask ourselves why. You take note that the number of moles of solute before the solution, or yeah, before the dilution rather, is equal to the number of moles of solute after the solution okay so it's just the volume of the solvent that uh, changes so what we can do now is uh, in uh, we can get uh, the number of the concentration multiply it with the volume okay so for example we know that uh, concentration let me write it here concentration is just the amount of moles of solute divided by uh, the volume so if we want to have the moles of solute then we can cross multiply so moles of solute is equal to C times the concentration times our volume or the V so if we have uh, a certain concentration before before the dilution, we carry it as C1, and our volume before the dilution is V1. All right, so C1, V1. Since the number of moles of solutes remain the same before and after the dilution, we can just say that C1, V1 is equal to the, the result or the product of the C2 and V2, the product of the concentration and the volume after the dilution. All right, so C1 represents the concentration of the stock solution or the mother solution. C2 represents the concentration of the diluted solution. V1 is the volume needed for, of the stock, so it's how much of the so stock solution that we should get. And V2 is our final volume, our desired final volume. So let's uh, make this clearer in an example. Here, how many milliliters of a 5M stock solution of an ACL are needed to prepare 100 ml of a 0 0.4 molar solution? So we get to identify our variables here. The 5 molar stock, okay, this is since you have the keyword stock here, then this is most probably our C1. Okay, our first concentration and then uh, 100 ml is our final volume so which which we can denote as V sub 2 all right V sub 2 is our final volume and this is our C sub 2 okay this is the concentration that we want all right so since we are asking for how many milliliters do we get from the stock solution then we also want to get V sub 1. Alright, so here we have C1 V1 is equal to C2 V2. Okay, the 5 molars is our concent first concentration, C1, and our V1 is a known, and then we just multiply our final concentration with the final volume. 
and then we find it's just like looking for x then 0 0.4 times 100 divided by 5 that should be 8 mil all right now uh, another example for sulfuric acid okay i want to dilute my sulfuric acid so this is three molars uh, h2so4 aqueous and then how many milliliters of that of the stock solution okay so your clue will be na aganesha of then that's probably your uh, first solution or that's our first concentration all right are needed to make 40 mil, 450 mil of 0 0.10 molars h2so4 so what we can do is uh, just follow c1 v1 is equal to c2 v2 since we are asking for how many milliliters we can get from the stock solution then that follows that our v1 is missing that's our x so therefore that is 3.0 molars okay let me write down the complete units uh, we do not know our v1 and then c2 is 0 0.10 molars times uh, 450 mil okay now it doesn't matter if your uh, volume is reported in milliliters because either way you, this will be cancelled out just just make sure that your units for volume are the same or are consistent all throughout your solutions so if you want to get v1 we divide this with the whole equation with 3.0 okay and the same thing here this is 3.0 molar so you see how molars get cancelled out and we are left with v1 is equal to 0 0.10 times 450 divided by 3.0 i should be getting an answer of 15 mil all right so meaning to say i get 15 mil from the 3.0 molar sulfuric acid solution and then dilute it okay add water such that it will it will have a volume the whole solution will have a volume of 450 mil right and that is how you dilute or prepare solutions through dilution okay so i know we have discussed a lot on the concentrations and dilution problems so i'd like to focus on molarity okay because this is what's commonly used in uh, solution stoichiometry okay other than mole fraction and molality as well so i'd like to you to pause this video and then in your notebook carry out the operations okay carry uh, do these uh, problems okay and then after which you can turn in or you can let this proceed to find out the answers. So I do hope that you were able to answer all the items correctly. Okay, so the first few items are molarity problems, which is the skill I would like to bank on. The last problem is on dilution. All right. So for if you have any questions or comments, just feel free to hit me up, okay? And that ends practically the semester, the inputs for uh, the term, okay? So uh, until dilution lang, solution preparations, we can have uh, colligative properties in the second sum lang, okay? So thank you very much for your attention and for participating. I hope you stay healthy and stay safe and God bless us all.